everyone, just wanted to do a quick update on Monite products for loose curls and waves. Last time I tried the mousse, I also had curl cream and flexible hold gel in my hair and it was a little bit too much for my curls, it weighed them down. Today's result, I think, turned out a lot better and I'm gonna show you what I used. First off, Restore Leave-In Conditioner. Definitely need this for moisture and curls. Then curl defining cream. I put those two on while my hair is still really wet and scrunch it in. So this is the Moxie Magnifying Mousse. It comes out like a foaming hand soap. It's not as thick of a foam as other mousses that I've used in the past. It made my hair kind of sticky and I think it was the combination of the gel. So today I do not have gel on my hair, just a little bit of mousse and I feel like it did help the ringlets come together. When I do the moxie mousse, I put a little bit in at my roots. I do this kind of like dump my hair over thing. Put some on the roots, pull some out into the ends and I took this comb and I did just a little bit of combing. I did go through the ends because my hair was wet. And on this side, I pulled out the ends that sometimes get stuck and clumped under here. And I, I believe that really helped distribute the product. My curls turned out pretty even. These ones in front, they always go straight compared with what's underneath here. And I'm not sure why that is. So sometimes I do like a little clip here because of that. I ended up really liking that clip idea. So where were we? Ah, okay, the mousse is in. I have formed my curl clumps, done a tiny, tiny bit of combing while it's wet. And then this diffuser is rubbery and it kind of goes, I don't know if you can see, up onto the curls and while it's drying, I feel that it really helps the curl formations. So I like, this is actually a travel diffuser, but I like it more than the diffuser that came with this hair dryer that's like hard plastic. Oh. The other thing that I really like to do is hover drying. So I will do like a hover until my hair isn't sopping wet anymore. And then when it's no longer sopping wet, I do a little bit of scrunching on the very ends just to get these ends to curl. Now these ends, I am not really enjoying short hair. Let's just put it that way. I cut my hair to get rid of damage. I had bleached my hair blonde, which was fun for the time, but um, not helpful to the health of my hair. So I cut it all off. I'm planning to do a video on my experience with cutting my hair off because I wish that I had not cut it and tried the Monate products to see if they could heal my hair before doing the big chop. But that is a totally separate video. Back to the routine. So after hover drying around the roots especially and then getting the ends to scrunch up a little bit, I didn't wanna to touch it anymore because it starts to create frizz. And I noticed that especially back here, it was really starting to get frizzy. So I took my handy continuous mist bottle, got my hair wet a little bit more again. Then I took the hair dryer, very carefully helped the curls form with this diffuser thing. Did that until it was basically 100% dry and it was fluffy, it came out really nice. I was happy with the results. And of course, some rejuvenique oil at the end always makes everything beautifully finished and it does kind of help the curls come together even more. I feel that it just makes everything go, ooh. And that's the whole routine that I did today. Little recap, restore leave-in conditioner, curl defining cream while it's very wet, a 
add in the Moxie Magnifying Mousse. Blow dry until everything is dry. Careful not to create frizz with your fingers. And then oil to finish. So I hope you enjoyed my routine. I'm still figuring out what's best on my hair having just cut it and having just switched to Monate products. So come along with me on my journey to healthy hair. Like this video if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing to my channel.